Hey everybody, welcome to my daily vlog channel. Today is July 13th and this is vlog number 31. This is my 31st daily vlog. That is so awesome that I've got this far. I didn't think I would make it this far like I've said before, but this one's gonna be another one of those after work driving vlogs because I have some stuff on my mind. Um, I have my phone clamped to my steering wheel so or next to my steering wheel but um yeah i've had a lot of stuff on my mind and it has to do with being inspired and letting your creative outlet out and so i kind of wanted just to kind of speak about that um just to kind of give some encouraging words about that to you if, um recently in my life i was at a point where i was just like so unhappy not like not like in my marriage not in anything like that but you know I have a job you know pays the bills that kind of thing life didn't exactly like you know in terms of career wise and all that kind of stuff you know I had dreams growing up but for a while I thought they were kind of impossible uh, at one point you know I've always wanted to do creative things I always wanted to be a published writer I've attempted to start writing a novel late last year, got um, into it, you know, probably close to 10,000 words into it and just kind of got burnt out. Still have it, still work on it from time to time, but not like how it was before. Also wanted to be an artist. I always wanted to be able to paint and make a living off of that and just do what I love to do and be able to, you know, make money off of it just so I can make a living off of it um, and of course I've always dreamed of being a filmmaker well you know in college I took a lot of film courses and that kind of thing I didn't really want to uproot till LA I went through a period in my life where I just did not want to make that sacrifice and so I didn't do that I haven't done some of that stuff you know of course I have a you know a good job you know me and my wife are happily married that kind of thing but it's not like I go to work every day loving what I do. I love people. I love talking with people. I love helping people. So I get to do that in my job. But it's a job. You know, like it's not, you know, something I love to do. And if you're one of those people like me that deal with that kind of struggle, uh, of course that, you know, causes a lot of depression and anxiety about what you're gonna do with your future, that kind of stuff. We live in a day and age where people don't really do, like, you know, we have this thing where we want to strive to have a job that we love to do. And then we get depressed and we say, oh man, I'm at a point where, you know, I just have a job and I'm, why am I, why don't I have something to do that I love? Why, 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 why can't I just have a job that I love? Um, there's, I've lived so long in saying that I want to eventually have a job that I love and I still do, but I can't get down on myself if that doesn't happen because it's pretty rare that that happens. That way of thinking actually is very recent in modern, in, you know, in human history. I would say 100 years ago, maybe 150 years ago, people worked to put money or to put food in the ta on the table and put a roof over their head. Um, accomplished artists that we now know of today had day, had day jobs. Um, not everybody gets to do what they love to do. So I've come to the conclusion in the past couple of weeks that, or really since I started this daily vlog channel, that I need to quit thinking that I'm a failure because I am not don't have a job that I love doing and I'm excited to go to every day. I have great days at work. I look forward to going to work. Um, you know, I'm just talking about where you get up and you're doing what you absolutely love and want to do. And it's like, you know, life is awesome. That's kind of new thinking, you know, within the past, I would say, 100 years. People, you know, like I said before, people made money to put food on the table and they did all their other stuff that they loved on the side and they that's what made them happy so that's kind of how I live my life you know I you know you know uh, you know different jobs that I've had some I thought were going to be more long-term careers didn't really work out like that but I'm consistently like you know I have jobs that I have a little bit of ranking in it's not like I'm at the lowest of the low like I have good jobs great benefits that kind of thing um, so it's not like, you know, I'm working, 
I'm, it's not like I'm working like, you know, barely for anything. Like, I'm very, com I'm comfortable. But that does not mean that, you know, that I, I have, I mean, I, I feel unhappy. I was feeling unhappy for so long as I'm not doing something I absolutely love. So I had to change my way of thinking. And so what I started doing was, you know what? I have my job. I have, I put food on the table. My wife has a job. She puts food on the table. You know, she actually, she loves doing what she does. And uh, that's awesome. Not everybody, you know, is that lucky. I know people personally that have a lot of money. They make a lot of money. But they're not really happy unless they're doing something that they love. And they're not really happy in what they do. But they do other things to do it. To like, you know, to not compensate, but to let your creative outlet out. So about a month ago, I was thinking, you know what? I'm going to start a daily vlog channel and do videos every day. Get my creative outlet out like that. Um, and I've been completely inspired every single day doing this from the comments and everything to from talking with every single one of you guys. You guys are awesome. Very supportive. And um, of course, my main channel is slacked a little bit. That's because of some other issues and lack of motivation in terms of like those film related videos, which... I keep saying I'm going to get back to it, and then I'm going to try again this week to get back to that stuff. So, but, I'm rambling, but, um, but also, something that I loved to do for so long, I loved for so long, was painting. I love painting. For so many years, I painted, and it was such a great creative outlet, and I felt so inspired every day, and so happy and full of joy to do it this vlog is going to be kind of dark, but it's okay. As long as you can hear me. Um, so, it's funny, it's, I'm trying to you know, encourage you guys, but it's I'm in darkness. <sighs> but anyways, and so I actually recently decided that I'm going to paint again. And I've, you guys heard me mention it before, but I'm really going to paint again. Um, I'm going to actually show you some stuff that I love that I've done before. And I will, it's one is, you know, a portrait of my dad and it was, he was a detective and I did a portrait of him in his, um, uniform. I did a impressionist style portrait of John Wayne. I did a couple still lifes and I did a Florida, um, you know, sunset lighthouse kind of thing. So I'm going to put that right here. So I love painting and I've always have, and I let... Um, you know, I had some art shows before. I've had people offer me money for some of my stuff. I've sold a couple things, but I haven't done it in five years, five plus years. I'm getting back into it now. I have in my Amazon wish list everything I possibly need, and so I'm actually just saving up week to week because I don't want to get it all in one fell swoop. Um, I'm going to get a little bit here and there because I really want to get high quality material. Um, and since I've done it before, I know I'm knowledgeable in what I need to get. So I'll probably spend, you know, at the first month or so about a hundred bucks on everything, and then I'm gonna start painting. I've already had people um, ask me if I could paint them some stuff, and they'll pay me to do it. Like, you know, I already have almost because when I announced it on Facebook, people started contacting me, and I actually, and so I already have stuff that I have in mind to do for people and myself. But, and I'm so full, and I, I'm so full of joy. Um, and so I've been so full of joy and so happy. And I say this to you guys and talk to you guys about this because I want everybody to hear what I've heard from other people. I've heard this is all stuff that people have told me that helped me. And that's what I want to share with you guys. I want to share the knowledge that has been given to me about this kind of stuff. So, yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to get a little... So if, you if there's something you love to do, do it. Do it. Don't let anybody hold you back. Unless it's illegal, of course. But do it. There's nobody stopping you. Yes, you might not be able to make a living off of it. But you will feel so happy. You won't go home every day from your job feeling unhappy because you feel like you're not making a difference. You can make a difference. Even at your job, you can make a difference. So just try to be the best you can possibly be and the happiest that you can possibly be by doing what you love. Even if you don't make any money off of All it. All right, so I'm home now. So I just wanted to kind of stop by and kind of give you guys an, some kind of an encouraging word, just a personal kind of vlog today. So 
Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Comment down below, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. See ya.